Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we just uh, received our brand new sawmill from Woodland Mills. It's an HM122. We uh, got the 9.5 horsepower upgrade. Let's see. What else do we got? We got the track extension. It's up here in this little box, I believe, the big box. Got some extra blades right here. Um, we're pretty excited. Been, been waiting on this for quite a while. Feeling pretty stoked about it. Um, so we're going to try to get this unloaded off the trailer and uh, get to working on putting it together. Come on. Well, now that we got the mill unloaded, um, time to break her open and see what we got inside and get to putting her together. Austin over here pointed out that they're uh, making fun of us with their little sticker calling us poor. Oh. We're poor. <laughs> Anywho, let's get her open. We got a pair of dikes there? Yeah. Alright. That's a weak shot. <laughs> it's just tape. Oh no. Let's see what we got here. So excited. Oh, look at that. It's another box. This is like the old prank that I would play on all my friends when I was a kid. Box inside a box. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that guys. We got some stuff in here. This thing's all crammed in here looking all sideways and stuff. Look at the crap skis. Several boxes. Alright. Now if I remember right, yep, there's okay, there's the manual right there, Austin. This little black tube on the side of the power head. Has the operator's manual in it. Get that baby out of there so we can figure out how to put it together. Normally I throw the instructions away, but this seems a little more important to me, so we'll, we'll take a look. Oh, check it out. Got some safety glasses. Nice. What else we got in here? Oh, no way. A pair of gloves? Really? Awesome, that's like Canadian gloves. Check those out. See what this one. And we got a nice, a nice manual set up here. Some good looking, looks like some quality manuals, not them crappy stapled paper ones. And I believe, I don't know if you can see down in that canister, but it looks like some earplugs down in there, which of course, one time use, but we got a bunch more. They even fit, huh? Does that make you feel Canadian? The color of the gloves. Yeah? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So we're good. We're good. Get to looking at that. I don't even know if I got you with your glasses on there. See, he's got the... We are ready to rock. Okay, we just had to spin the uh, pallet around here sideways because we had it stuffed in there the, the incorrect way. Because this part right here unbolts. I guess you just bend her on down like that, like we did. Then we have access to the power head and all the other stuff here. So um, We'll get into this. I don't know that I'll show you a whole lot of this. This is all just nuts and bolts. Pretty simple. All right. They tell you to put some supports there, your little cardboard. And you're supposed to lower the power head like this. Um, kind of questionable. To me, I don't know about the oil, but I guess it won't get in the valves. This long box over here with the tracks is, that's a heavy one, folks. Um, yeah, I mean, it's that's the heaviest part of the whole thing right there, right? That's the track setup, I guess, but yeah. Oh, look at that. Gave us a little bag of candy. I even came with a little bag of chiclets in my pocket for later <laughs> no but anyways yeah just be careful because this one was heavy and uh you know i just advise having a you know a lifting partner to 
help lift that one out or just take it out individually but out of the box. Coming back. Yeah, we just uh, took the old tractor and kind of just flattened out an area here. Um, and we'll put some blocks down. We cut some little six inch blocks just off some old lodgepole and we'll put those under the feet. Um, that should give plenty of room underneath for sawdust and whatnot. Easy clean out. So we'll get to setting that up in this area over here. And hopefully it'll level out okay without too much more trouble. Okay, well we got the uh, track assembly pretty well put together and assembled. <clears throat> um, leveled out, the preliminary leveling out. Um, because we kind of think that, uh, you know, after a couple logs, it's going to settle a little bit. We'll have to re-level it. Anyways, got that pretty well ready to go. Got the uh, stops there, the log dog, ready to rock. Now we're going to turn our attention to the power head assembly. And we got to get it ready, get it assembled, ready to put on. So we got the uh, power head assembly coming together. Got all the legs bolted up, coming together. About ready to put on that little number. Nothing too bad. Let me tell you, these instructions are are uh, on point. Good instructions. Way to go, Woodland. Okay, well, we got this all assembled. Probably need some slight adjustments once we get it on the track, which is our next step. So we're going to hook onto it with the tractor. They got these lifting hooks right here. We're going to chain through it on each side. Bam. And uh, lift her up as careful as possible. And we're going to take her over on the track and set her on there. So wish us luck on this one. Yep. I feel so embarrassed right now, you guys. Is it just me or does this look a lot whiter than the track? And immediately we realized, Austin did at least, he's like, I, th I think the wheels, I think this one's supposed to, I mean, we got it on backwards. This is going to be terrible. So we got to take this whole assembly, put this whole part here off, swap it to that side, which is actually more difficult than you think it would be, but that's what we got to do. Oh boy. You know. You get in a hurry, this is what happens. It'll go on there. Alright, I guess we gotta, we gotta do it. Okay, so we've kind of devised a plan here. We're going to leave it suspended in there like this. And we believe, because we were able to raise this up with the, uh, the winch there and the cable, that we should be able to take this whole lower unit off on both sides, switch it over um, as long as we keep this supported in here so it doesn't flex too much with that head on there. Should work out fine. Um, you can see we've added a log support under the hydraulics here um, while we'd be working around it for safety reasons. So let's uh, let's fix let's fix our mistake, huh? <laughs> Okay, coming back. All right, well, we got those swapped over. It really was uh, quite simple. Simpler than uh, we originally had thought, which, thank goodness. Anyways, look at that. Now it's the proper width in here. Hmm, imagine that. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, we got the uh, power head mounted on the track. Everything squared up. I think that's going to be an ongoing process. 
we have a little rinky dink old log here i know it's a dead one but we're gonna make our first cut on that to see how it does um nice little logs we're about ready to fire up the engine for the first time we put oil in it put a little too much had to drain some out got gas in there oh yes we do need to fill the water up though so while the while the motor's warming up for the first time we'll fill that water up to lubricate the 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 band there Slow down on that knot. Oh, yeah. like, watch how fast they go on the bigger knots. A little slab. Use that on the That'll be good for the cover there. Different color. Yeah. Oranges. Gray, some blue. It's pretty cool, man. I like it. All right, well, there we have our first little log we milled up on our brand new Woodland Mills HM122. Uh, made a nice little six by beam. Um, I think uh, just an old, very dead lodge pole uh, that we had. But uh, if I took it down into two by sixes i think we'd have some issues with the cracking but as far as a post or a, just a beam you know there's still quite a bit of structure in that baby but she's real real nice colors just some real interesting stuff if we find a good one you know we'd have some we can make some interesting uh cabinet boards even some flooring boards out of it um, but we're going to leave this one, like I said, just as a beam because of this heavy cracking here. I think it'll uh, it'll do just fine that way. We'll roll another one up there and see what happens. Yeah, so there we have our first board. Little 2 by 6 I guess it says uh, straighter, straighter than the lumber yard, I guess. Yeah, that's not too bad. Cool. Get two more out of there, and then we'll be done for today.
being thin in the car. Well, there we have our first day with the sawmill here on the old homestead. Um, we've got a few boards cut over there. We're uh, not quite sure exactly what we're doing yet, but we're going to get her dialed in. Got a little more tweaking to do. Um, the old band's tilt just a little bit. We'll get that straightened out. Um, but we're uh, we're ripping boards and they're looking pretty good. So we'll uh, we'll come back to another day. We're going to cover up and close down shop for the day. Well, thanks everybody for coming along. Join us out here on the homestead for our first day with our uh, Woodland HM122 sawmill. A little bit of a challenge for us. We had some issues and there's a couple design things on there, honestly, that um, I may want to change and we'll get into that later. Uh, nothing major, but a few things I think would help kind of tweak it out and make it a little bit nicer. But uh, anyways, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. We'll catch you next time out here on the old flat.